So let's look at the following example, which will essentially deal with a heat pump. Now recall that a heat pump is a reversible heat engine that is used to bring heat into the house from the outside during winter months. Suppose that a certain heat pump has a coefficient of performance equal to 3.5 and has a power capability of 2000 watts. So that basically means our heat pump requires 2000 joules of energy every single second to bring the energy from the outside into the house. So in part A, determine how much energy the pump can actually bring into the house every single second. So let's look at the following diagram. Here we have our house, we have the inside, the outside, and this is our heat pump. So the entire point of the heat pump is to take energy from the outside, which is at a lower temperature, and bring it inside into the house so that the temperature of the house increases. Now to carry out this process, work must be done. So we know that the coefficient of performance for any heat pump is equal to the QH divided by work. Now the QH is the total amount of energy that is brought into the house. So we divide QH by the work and that gives us the COP, the coefficient of performance. Now, the work is simply how much energy is required to bring this quantity of heat into the house. Now, we know from the power capability that that work is 2000 joules. So we rearrange this equation and bring it to the left side and we see that QH, what we're looking for, is equal to the product of the work and the coefficient of performance of that heat pump. Now, 3.5 multiplied by 2,000 joules gives us 7,000 joules of energy. So that means 7,000 joules of energy is brought into the house by this heat pump every single second. Now, let's move on to part B. Suppose now you want to use this same heat pump as an air conditioner in the summer. If everything stays the same, calculate how much heat will be pumped out of the house. So our COP remains at 3.5 and our power capability remains at 2000 joules per second. So now our heat pump, which acts as an air conditioner, takes the energy from the inside of the house and pumps it outside. So our heat flows from the inside to the outside and when the heat flows, work must be done. So we're essentially reversing this process. So our QH is equal to QL plus W. So the QH, all the energy that comes outside, is equal to the work done plus the heat flow from the inside. Now we know from part A that QH is 7,000 joules. And we know that our W is given to be 2,000 joules. So we simply take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for QL. And our QL is equal to 5,000 joules. So that means when this same heat pump acts as an air conditioner, it is capable of bringing 5,000 joules of energy from the inside of the house to the outside. So because we're dumping energy to the outside, the temperature of the inside will decrease and the temperature of the outside will increase. Now, if we wanted to, we can also determine the coefficient of performance of this air conditioner. So that is given by the QL divided by work. So we know the QL is 5,000 joules and we know the work is 2,000 joules. So that means 5,000 divided by 2,000 gives us a coefficient of performance of 2.5 for this particular air conditioner.